How's it going? So welcome. It's obviously very inspiring to see the group of diverse individuals here. I know people have tra traveled from overseas. Uh, people have made uh, the attempt to come to this conference because they are interested in the ideas that we have here. My name is Jeff Lea. I'm the executive director with Radical Exchange, um, and I've been responsible with the rest of our team for organizing this event for the last few months. So about a year and a half ago, Glenn Weil and Eric Posner wrote this book, Radical Markets. And it struck a chord and found resonance with many people. And I'm sure many of you have read, here have read this book. It was an economist book of the year for 2018. And it saw that we could find a way to bridge the divides that we have in our society today. That we can reinvent institutions to fix problems like inequality that we can find a way to build a more prosperous world. But it also found a question, okay? So the book found resonance, now what? And so Glenn, as a founder, had the idea, why don't we build a cross-track collaboration and set up a conference around the ideas? And so in August of last year, about five of us got together to start to do that. And so there were various constituents that we brought together for that. There were uh, activists and government group. There was artists and communications, entrepreneurship and technology, and then ideas and research, which was academics. But one of the first things that we came to in that conversation was, okay, let's have an honest conversation to begin with. This is a very diverse group. These are heightened issues. What are the defining qualities of these various groups, but also what are the stereotypes that we're gonna encounter when we go into a conference like this? So, and this was from one of our presentations. Artists are a creative, playful, critical, out of the box thinking type of group. They're fun, they're interactive, they're deeply thought provoking. But the stereotypes, is it the case that they can be too critical and ironic? disorganized and perceived as elitist or inaccessible? Academics, you're next. <laughs> Defining qualities, thorough experts and specialists. They synthesize a variety of inputs to go deep into a problem. But can they be bound to old models? Can they have difficulty communicating? Are their ideas sometimes locked in theory? Activists and policymakers. So they're the community builders and the change agents, action oriented, pragmatic, experimental, and they understand real world problems. But can they be too focused on what to fight against? Can they be too cliquish? Or can governments have perverse incentives that are all too commonly understood? And then our builders, our entrepreneurs, and our technologists, the doers. They challenge norms and they turn ideas into action that have, has real world impact. But do they sometimes have thin judgment for the best ideas? Do they often, or at least sometimes, release inventions into the wild without thought of the systematic implications of those inventions? And then when you think about the ideological camps that we're trying to traverse here, Today you hear the left, the right, centrist, conservative. And you think about the criticisms that can be advanced towards something like this. These are a bunch of technocrats. They're utopian. They're communist. They're hyper-capitalist. What is it that we can find commonality to start out a conference like this in? What about good? And a good we all know. Just pick one, pick one example. What about a parent who has a child and clearly, definitely wants a brighter future for that child? What about knowing that there's brilliance in everybody here and there's brilliance in that diversity? Don't we wanna believe that we can have a conversation together beyond those differences to advance to a new world?
So you would have seen this. It's not critical. It's not radical to critique our current society. It's radical to build a better one. So radical does have the political sense, but it also has the, the root meaning of the word. And at its root, radical means to go to the root of something, just like a plant. And so when we think about radical and looking at different ideologies, we think about going to the root. And do we believe at the root that there's a commonality in looking for liberalism, justice, and can we agree to those outcomes? So our beliefs, institutions can be redesigned for the better. This book is fundamentally rooted in economics, in mechanism design. And we believe that with those ideas, rigorous methodology can lead to new institutions. But we also believe that that has to be grounded in moral social principles. When you go back to the works of Adam Smith or Karl Marx or Henry George, whose ideas were key in this book, you resituate economics in moral and political philosophy, sociology, in ethics. And we believe that that's key. Diversity is essential, and that's why we aim for it despite our differences. Uh, and we strive to bring that diversity together. And ultimately, we believe people are good. Our values, openness. So for openness, this means to us openness to the fact that our ideas are not yet finalized. This is a conversation. It's an exchange. It means an openness to hearing your ideas. It means asking you to be open in this conference to hearing perspectives that you might not have agreed with before you came here. It means earnestness, that we are adamant about our goals of striving to build a better future. It, believe, it means we believe in social innovation, and it means that we believe in the dignity of the individual. So we set out some, uh, some goals for our organization originally, and we sat down and we decided what were the goals that we wanted to, to bring together. And basically, our event is constructed in line with these goals. So the first is to inspire and connect. Day one is about inspiring that we can envision a future that's different than today. And connecting with other individuals, and especially diverse individuals that you haven't connected with before that believe the same thing. Day two is about learning and experiencing. And day three will ultimately be about catalyzing action. And on day three, you're going to hear some of the ideas for radical exchange and where we might take this organization and community, but more importantly, catalyzing actions for where you might take the community or these ideas out in your work. The conference has five main themes, politics, space, collective action, identity, and economy. And in line with diversity, the cross connections across these domains is particularly important to us. And we're not just li listening to speeches and panels during our time here, we're going to have art exhibits, workshops, a games night, movie screenings. The idea is not to come and be told what to think or what to believe. Uh, the idea is to get involved. And the successful outcome of this conference, if there is one, will be that you've gotten involved and you've engaged. Uh, we're looking for open dialogue. We'll have unconference sessions. We have, again, intentional diversity. And we'd ask for the respect of that diversity during the time of the conference. And ultimately, this is your conference. Uh, we've had a great team of 50-plus volunteers that have put it together for you, um, but it's ultimately for your experience. So we looked at about 100 venues uh, on this path, and we kept coming back to one, College for Creative Studies in Detroit. And, and why? Well, first of all, when we contacted the venue, it, it felt perfect because of its story part of Detroit's history, and we'll have President Rick Rogers come up to present that. Um, because Detroit does have a history, and we understand that it has a history here in terms of the industrial periods of Detroit. It's reimagining a future for itself. And then the concepts of design and creativity and imagination that come out of this school, and you can, you can see it as you, as you tour around the campus, um, is in line with what we believe and our core values. So our first uh, welcome guest to the stage here is President Rick Rogers, and we're delighted to let him speak to you and tell you a bit about the history of College for Creative Studies. Thanks.